Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sound like y'all still asleep. Good morning. Good morning. Alright, sound like this side. I got it. What about this side? Good morning. Good morning. Right, I got I got the first three. What about in the back? Good morning. Good morning. Right, let's try this side again. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all do the same thing. Y'all, this y'all be quiet in the back. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're. Is this the last? Let's go. We're I think here it goes today up one. to celebrate Black History Month. Uh, I want to inform you all that every day is Black History. Every day is Black History because each of you wake up. Every day that you wake up, you make history. I would like to thank uh, the faculty, the administration, to everyone that's here today uh, to allow me to come and speak to you all. It is a, it is a true honor. Teacher, you all help me. Can you keep them quiet? I, I, want, I want your attention. In this area right here, can y'all be quiet for me? I really want your attention. Jacoby, stop. Can y'all be quiet for me? I really want your attention. I need you to pay attention this morning. Uh, a little about myself, I am a graduate of Manchester High School, the same seats that you all are sitting in right now. I sat there years ago. Uh, I came through Mountain View, uh, went to Manchester Middle School, uh, graduated from Manchester High, like I said. When I was in high school, wasn't the best kid, wasn't the smartest kid, but I gave my best. Um, my senior year, I graduated with honors. I graduated with honors. Uh, while my senior year, I was, became, I was the homecoming king, as well as the prom king. Not too many people do that. As well as Mr. MHS. So, just a little about myself. Uh, I want to tell you that you can do anything in life that you desire. Never let anyone tell you that you can't do something simply because you can. I am now a student at Morehouse College, which is, which is located there in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it's a part of the AUC. The AUC stands for the Atlanta University Center. If you all are ever interested, I have any questions about Morehouse College in general, uh, you can reach out to me uh, after, after the ceremony and just let me know. Uh, but read the theme that I want to talk about today is that I want to encourage you all to never stop dreaming. Can you all say that with me? Never. All right, let's do it in unison. All right, this time, follow me, okay? Never. 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 Stop. Stop. Dreaming. Dreaming. All right, let's say it again. Never. Never. Stop. Stop. Dreaming. Dreaming. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Over 60 years ago, back on August 28, 1963, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave an electrifying speech to over 250,000 people during the March on Washington. This famous speech that is entitled, I Have a Dream, this speech was delivered by Dr. King. His purpose of writing this speech and delivering this speech, uh, Dr. King, who also graduated from Morehouse College at the age of 19, the purpose of his speech was to call for a civil and economic rights and to end racism in America. Here in 2024, we are still trying to make the dream of Dr. King come to pass. Uh, if we want better for all people, it is imperative that you all do not stop dreaming. You all are the future. We are depending on each and every one of you. Did you hear me? Yeah. The world is depending on all of you to make the difference in the world. In the great I Have a Dream speech, Dr. King said, even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. See, Dr. King knew that just because his higher calling had given him a dream, Dr. King knew that it would not be so easy to make his dream come to pass. After you have dreamed, you must put some action behind your dream. I want to say that again. After you have dreamed your dream, you must put some action behind your dream. Do you all know what action means? Okay. All right. We're good. All right, I just believe that if we would continue to dream as a whole and as everybody together, our future would be much better because we have a vision. See, when you have a vision, you know that you are going somewhere. Dreaming is so important. 
I want you all to listen. Dreaming is so important. If Dr. King would have stopped dreaming, we would not have had a structured voting system. If Dr. King would have stopped dreaming, we would have never had a black president in America. If Dr. King would have stopped dreaming, we would have never had our first black senator in Georgia. If Dr. King would have stopped dreaming, we would have never had our first black mayor in the city of LaGrange. If Dr. King would have stopped dreaming, our beloved HBCUs, which means historically black colleges and universities, would not be so sacred today. So I encourage you all this morning, uh, it is very important that you do not stop dreaming. When you stop dreaming, it is possible that you may stop your destiny. When you stop dreaming, you may stop your destiny. I want you to know that each of you have a destiny. There is a purpose and a reason why each of you were born. If you were not born, you would have been had to, you would have had to be invented. You were born with a purpose. In each of you all life, there are something great that you will accomplish. And I come today to tell you that there is greatness over each and every one of you all's life. You will break generational barriers. You will achieve everything that you believe. In order for you to be a great achiever, you must become a dreamer. You must remember that uh, what you do today will determine where you will be on tomorrow. You must remember that what you do today will determine where you are tomorrow. So if you make good decisions today, you'll be in a good situation tomorrow. If you make bad decisions today, you'll find yourself in bad situations on tomorrow. But a dreamer is also an explorer. Let your next decision that you make be your best decision. Let your next decision be your best decision. A dreamer, you must know that, uh, that the response to failure is how you define success. See, even though you may make the right decision in the moment, does not always, it is the best decision. But you must remember that the response to failure is how you define success. When you fall down, get back up. When the world knocks you down, get back up. When school knocks you down, get back up. It is important that you do not allow anything to keep you down. I have three quick things that I want to tell you. The first thing I want to tell you is that dreaming equals destiny. Dreaming equals destiny. When you dream, you have a guarantee that you have a destiny. And like I said earlier, each of you has a destiny. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. How many of you, raise your hand if you have two legs? Okay, put your hand down. Raise your hand if you have two arms. Raise your hand if you have 10 fingers. Raise your hand if you have 10 toes. All right, lastly, now how many of you, raise your hand if you have a functioning brain. Leave it up, leave it up. I wanna see some, leave it up. If you have a functioning brain, raise your hand high. And for everyone that did not raise your hand, when you get home today, ask yourself why I did not raise my hand. All right, you put them down. If you answered yes to any of these, then you are the only person stopping you from reaching your destiny. Do not allow anyone to become a hindrance to your growth. Do not be your own hindrance to reaching your success. It is important that you utilize everything that is at your disposal. Utilize everything that you have at your disposal. Everything that you need is already within you. Everything that you need to be successful is already within you. So utilize what you have while you have it. The next thing I want to tell you is that dreams have power. There are powers and there is power in your dreams. Uh, there is power in your dreams. Whatever you want, you can have it. Dreams are so powerful. You have to see it before you see it. So do not be afraid of your dreams. The last thing that I want to tell you is that dreams do come true. Dreams do come true. That's why I told you, told you to not be afraid of your dreams because dreams, they do come true. Dream big. Never dream small. See, if you dream small, then you will receive small. But if you dream big, then you will receive big. 
I want you to write like Maya, inspire like Obama, lead like Harriet, dream like Martin, win like Kamala, fight like Malcolm, dare like Shirley, speak like Frederick, think like Garvey, reclaim like Maxine, educate like W.E. Du Bois, challenge like Rosa. As I leave you, I leave you with this quote by the great Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, be a trail. If you can't be the sun, then be a star. It is not by size that you win or fail, but whatever you do, be the best version, whatever you are. Thank you.